Hello YouTube, my name is Chris J and today I want to tell you about Race Team Simulator. Normally I don't uh, show unfinished games on my channel, but this will be an exception because, well, I'm a big Formula 1 fan. From what I've seen, I think this will be quite good and compelling race team management and simulation game. And the reason I'm making this video is because the developers have released a sort of a demo for the, for the game showing one part of it, which is the actual racing simulation from the point of view of the team and, um, and the managers of the team who take the decisions on the pit wall during the race. Yeah, the demo is quite limited because it has only one race, one track in it and you can do just one race. No, no qualifying, no practices, no anything. So, but from what I've seen in, in this quick, quick demo, I'm quite excited and there are quite a lot of um, really small things that I haven't seen in any other similar management game. Of course, I did uh, small changes to the game. I added some logos from the teams so that this video would seem a bit more compelling than it the demo actually is. There are no actual team names in the game or or racing driver names actual from Formula 1, I mean. I added them myself. And it wasn't hard actually. I did it maybe in a, in half an hour or 40 minutes. It, it shows that the game is open for modding. So what can you actually do in this demo and what what can you expect from the game? Well, the first I I have to say that I added the, some music and race racing sounds from one similar older game that I have and there is no actual sound in them in the demo of course I will give all the all the links uh, in the de description below uh, you can download also also the logos and the team names and the driver names that I used in making this video uh, you of course manage two drivers in the in the race I think the the starting positions on the grid change every time you, you start the game, uh, start the demo, I mean. Um, so the, this gives a bit uh, of randomness to it. You can experience it a couple of times to see how, how compelling it is or not. Yeah, you can change the strategy. Um, you can split the strategy, I don't know, um, like they do in real races. And uh, there are of course uh, two types of tires uh, and so on as in the actual Formula 1. So it feels uh, quite uh, realistic in this way. Uh, you can of course change the speed of the simulation. The, the one thing that I really liked is the replay function that you can, uh, that you can use. Uh, there's a commentary, you see that one driver has overtaken or collided with, a, with another driver. And you just click on that commentary and uh, the screen rewinds to that place in, in the race. And you can see see what happened on the track. There are no collisions or retirements in this demo. But from what I've seen on the developer's YouTube page, the colli collisions happen actually. There's damage simulated in, in, the, in their game. It's just not available in, in this demo. Yeah, as I said, your decisions really matter, as I will show um, later uh, in the video. One of my uh, drivers was um, struggling to overtake uh, the car in front of him until I actually said that you can use this function, you, the overtake button, as they call them, call it. Uh, drive harder, try to overtake him, and only after I've given him this this order, he actually could overtake the car in front of him. And then, of course, you have those small things that you don't actually notice maybe at the start on the map of the track where they show all the cars circling around the circuit. You can actually see that there are sort of uh, four cars from your team shown on the map. And it took me some time until I realized that the game is actually showing where would your drivers come out on the track if they pitted right now. So that's that's really helpful for you to change up the strategy maybe um, and to pit a bit earlier if you need to or, or uh, 
do it a bit later if you see that there might be a gap uh, where where your car would feed in on the track and so on so it's quite quite good that they they can simulate it and show that to to you and help with the decisions I don't know what what can I tell uh, you more about this demo uh, I'm really hopeful that they will finish the game from what I've read I th I think that this will go into early access um, at the end of the year we might be quite close to that and um, yeah normally I don't encourage anyone to go into to go and grab the game in during early access because you never know what might happen in this case I would like you the viewer to tell about this game to your friends especially if if your friend or friends enjoy watching Formula One or race racing in general. So I think this could be quite interesting to them. And I think the developers need uh, need more support. There hasn't been a, a decent Formula One management game for 15 years, I think. Last decent one came out in year 2000. And that's more, yeah, that's like 15 years ago. So and I think Formula One deserves a decent uh, simulator. I mean, management simulator. Uh, thank you for watching, share this video with your friends if they enjoy Formula 1 and yeah, let's hope this goes into early access and we have a great game in the end. Thank you for watching, give this one a like and see you in the next one. Bye!